All right, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't wait any longer. Hey guys, I know, I know it's not even winter yet, but quite honestly, I don't care because I have been staring at this box for quite a number of weeks now, and I don't know if I can resist the temptation any longer. And it doesn't help that some of you on Discord are encouraging me to open this up. So I gave in. So in this video, we are gonna finally be opening and checking out Pinto's first advent calendar. We have here Pinto's 2023 Christmas Puzzle Advent Calendar, the Star Chaser. I absolutely love the whole look of it. It looks like a big book. The side of it is the book spine and you can kind of see the pages throughout the other sides of the box. And the image on the front is beautiful. Really gives me those Christmas spirit vibes, which, you know, is obvious because it's a Christmas advent calendar. But anyways, now if you've never heard of Pintu before, they provide premium plastic puzzles. And I'm gonna leave a link to their store down below so that you can check it out. They have tons of awesome sets. And Pintu just so happens to be one of my absolute favorite puzzle brands. And I'm not just saying that because I do a lot of collaborations with them. To be quite honest, if Pintu never reached out to me, I probably would have never heard of them. Because, you know, as I've said before, I don't really know much about anything. So I'm really happy that they decided to reach out to me one day and introduce me to their world of amazing puzzles. And I have to share with you one of my absolute favorite things about Pintu. I mean, not aside from the fact that they have beautiful images but oh my goodness that sound those puzzle pieces make when you snap them in together i just can't resist but anyways back to what we're actually talking about here this is as i've said before pentu's very first christmas advent calendar this is not only something that contains puzzle sets in it this also takes you along a christmas journey and the story of this journey is titled The Star Chaser. So this is very exciting because you know me, not only do I love jumping into puzzle images, but the fact that they're giving me a story to go along with the whole thing is just, sounds like really fun. It's a little something extra to the whole experience. Pin to think of everything. Now, to be quite honest, I'm not exactly sure how I wanna go about this video. I do know for a fact that I am opening this up and what I'm not sure about is if I'm going to open some of the boxes in here or open all of them up and piece everything together. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a timestamp down below so that you can skip all of the stuff that I'm gonna go through next with this and then just, you know, hear the part of the video that's just basically explaining my review of the entire thing. So again, if you don't want any surprises ruined and you are gonna, you know, work on this in December, you know, when you're actually supposed to, unlike me, just make sure that you skip to the time below so that you don't get any surprises spoiled for you. But if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna shut up now and we're gonna go to my puzzle table and we are gonna finally open this up. So let's move on. All right, now let's get this opened up. Now this does come in plastic wrap. All right, the part we've been waiting for, let's open this up. Oh, wow. Oh, you're welcome. And what's great about Pintu as well is that they always offer for all their puzzle sets free missing piece replacements. So don't hesitate if you're having an issue with your set to reach out to them. But anyways, let's move on to this beauty. So Pintu does provide a QR code here inside the box that'll give you access to the images of the puzzle and the assembly instructions. And of course, the full story of the game. Uh, again, I, I'm so torn. I really wanted to wait till December, but at the same time, I just couldn't wait to get this opened. You know what? Let, let's just pretend. You know why? Because I can. So let's move on. But anyways, day one does have a bit of a paragraph here that kind of introduces you to the whole adventure. Dear adventurer, we need your help to retrieve each piece of the star, restore our tree to its former glory, and save our kingdom. 
Will you accept this mission? Absolutely. Oh, and inside here, it does give you a little bit more of the story. And again, it does have the QR code here as well so that you can get the image of the puzzle and the assembly instructions. This is a photo taken by a villager, which I have printed out as a postcard to give you some clues that may help you find the missing star. You can write down your wishes on the postcard and we'll do our best to make your dreams come true. And of course, bad wishes are not allowed. Oh my goodness, this is so cute! The three wise men carried precious gifts and embarked on a journey towards the direction of the star for finding their new king. All right, let's get to it then. Oh my God, these are so little. All right, so here is your frame and there's your magnet. Simple enough. These are smaller than the typical pin two pieces, but this is absolutely adorable. All right, let's piece it together. That only took me about five minutes to complete, but that was a lot of fun. And it's practical too. You can hang it up anywhere you want, so that's really cool. Maybe one more. The three wise men arrived at the place where the newborn king was and witnessed the sacred moment. Oh my god, these are little! These have to be the smallest pieces I've ever worked with. I really did enjoy the variety of piece sizes and shapes in this calendar. Now the normal Pintu pieces are actually on the smaller size, but I noticed with some of these sets they were a lot smaller than what I am used to with Pintu. Almost like mini puzzles. Even though they were a little tricky to handle at times, but still it was a lot of fun and I thought they were really cute. Look at these little babies. They're so cute. Now for some of the sets, they did require some extra assembly steps to them. Like for example, the keychains, which you saw, and also the magnets. Everything, you know, goes together a very particular way. Now the instructions that are provided to you through the website are pretty basic. There's no written instructions. It, it kind of reminded me of like what Ikea would provide to you. It was just pictures and you kind of had to just follow the pictures and see what was going on in the assembly process. I feel like, I think the only one that was kind of tricky to me was the canvas style puzzle set. Because you had to put the brackets in a certain way and I, it was kind of hard to tell from the picture what position they were supposed to be in. But once I figured that out, from there it was pretty easy. And once all the assembly was done, honestly, I was quite impressed with the finished product. To know is that not all calendars contain the same puzzle images and what you're going to notice and i think it was for about a couple of the days is that once you get into the website to see what your reference image is it's going to give you the option to click on the color frame that you have and that will give you the correct reference image so who knows you might have the images that i'm showing you here or you might have completely different ones So 
some of you might wonder, well, you know, there are 24 calendar days in an advent calendar. Why does the set state that there's only 17 different puzzles? You know, what's going on here? But Pintu has set up their calendar in a way that some of the days are full complete sets and other days are actually parts of a full set. And then obviously after a point, once you get all the parts of a set completed, you put them together. And in my opinion, I kind of felt like this setup really worked well. Mainly because, let's say if I had to do the full translucent puzzle set in one go, which was actually broken up into six parts. Each one of those kind of took me a little while because, you know, I'm not used to putting together little itty bitty pieces. So it was a challenge and I would say those kind of took me about 20 minutes. So if I had to do them all in one sitting, that would kind of be a lot for a puzzle advent calendar day for me to complete. And I think there were two puzzle sets that were broken up in this way throughout the days of the calendar that would, you know, eventually create a, a bigger, more elaborate piece. And in the end, it was nice to kind of see the whole thing come together. And then the other piece that was broken up into parts was the light up globe, which is kind of like the grand final piece of the whole calendar. I feel like that was really well set up. My only thing with the light up globe in the end was that I kind of wish you can charge it so that you didn't have to plug it in, but that's okay. It's still a really cool looking piece. And the 24th day not only came with the last few pieces for the light up globe, but it also did come with the cute commemorative pen and also a discount card for your next purchase. Time to go shopping. And quite honestly, I don't really know what was my favorite puzzle in this entire calendar. They were all very special in their own way. The magnets and the smaller puzzle sets kind of took me an average of about five minutes. They were real quick fun. And then like kind of the more challenging sets, like the translucent mini pieces, those took me about an average of about 15-20 minutes to complete. And again, that was mainly because they were so tiny, it was hard for me to see. But overall, this was fantastic. All right, now I'm gonna do my best here to not show too much, just in case you skipped ahead to this point. But overall, this experience was amazing. You get a fantastic variety of puzzles that you can actually use or put on display. And it's all with that same amazing Pintu quality. There, there's no cheapy useless stuff here. And I know you might be saying, well, of course it's Pintu quality. The box obviously says Pintu on it. But I know there are brands out there that can be very inconsistent with the quality when it comes to their multi-puzzle box sets. The images themselves are beautiful. You got that great print, those sharp, vibrant colors. The translucent sets are gorgeous. I've never seen or worked with those before. The variety of piece shapes, styles, and sizes throughout the calendar threw in different challenges. Some were quick fun, and some gave you a little bit more puzzle time. There was really a, a good balance throughout the whole thing. And the story is a fun addition. Honestly, I was more focused on the puzzle sets themselves, but it does add a little something extra to the whole experience. It makes you feel like you're a part of something. I do feel like Pintu put a lot of thought into this. There was really no skimping and I'm glad they didn't, but I'm gonna be honest. When it's not on sale and your budget is looking a little sad like mine, the price tag is a little up there, but I do feel like it's worth it. I would save my money and pick one up before Christmas, especially if it's on sale. And I love Pintu anyway, so there's that. So I'm really super grateful that Pintu wanted to ship one out to me. But if you want to grab it while the price is lower, they have actually extended their early bird sale to the end of October. So you still got a chance to grab it at a lower price. So I'm going to leave my affiliate links down in the description box below if you want to check them out and grab one for yourself or for someone else. I honestly don't know if I'm going to end up at some point trying an advent calendar from a different brand now. I don't know. I always feel like with this, my expectations are too high now. But hit that like button if you are a fan of Pintu puzzles and let me know down below if there are other advent calendar brands that you recommend or if you're just excited to try this Pintu set in December when you're actually supposed to. Anyways guys, I need to get back to working on my nightmare of a puzzle. And I'm sure most of you know what I'm talking about. 
So I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.